everyone. My name is Finley. I am the Jackson County Agriculture in the Classroom Coordinator. I'm also the co-owner of Finley Feather Farm and here today I'm going to talk to you about beef cattle and what Ag in the Classroom has to offer for those who are educators or just overall interested in maybe learning more about beef or if you have a connection to children, if you have family members or friends who have children, this might be a great activity you can get them involved in. So as I mentioned, it's all about beef this month of February and it's uh, just 2022. Like I've said in other videos, the themes for the months change per year. So just depends. You can always include the activities or the lessons that I discussed today anytime throughout uh, teaching throughout the school year. It doesn't matter, but this is kind of like the theme and we're going to focus on beef. So right here I have the Ag Mag. Do you see that? And at the front you can already see that there's vocabulary terms just like on every Ag Mag. There's, uh, for this it just talks about beef, bovine, which is cattle, and then you have bull, and then byproducts, calf, cow, heifer, hide, um, and then it goes on and it talks about ruminant as well. It has the de uh, definition for that, which is important because I'll get to a lesson that's great or an activity and lesson that's great to include within your classroom. It also over here just has a little column on animal health. At the bottom, it kind of covers a little bit about uh, different breeds of beef cattle. And then I'll try to focus the best as I can. All right. <laughs> so on this column, it's beef cattle and their diet. It talks about like what they eat. And um, this will go great if you want to do a lesson on nutrition. And that might be a little geared up, might be geared up to uh upper grades, but you might be able to find a way to incorporate it within your classroom. If not, message me and I'll find a way if I don't have anything already, because I probably do. But um, over here is just a column about more that meets the eye. It kind of goes crossed. And then there's a column over here that I'll get to. It uh, talks about the beef to the weaning stage of beef cattle. And then over here, it talks about the feedlot. So they are at uh, one, most of the time, they're at one farm during a certain stage of their lives. And then they go over to the next farm to complete another stage of their lives. And then so forth uh, before they are butchered. And oh, down at the bottom, it covers a little bit about history. It's a whole column and it covers both sides. I can unfold it. And it covers beef history. So if you want to include a little bit about history within your lesson and maybe hit some of those standards as well, you can do that. Um, if I can think about what I was going... Okay, there we go. Uh, so this is the list. It's on a couple of different ag mags. Uh, especially if you've done the dairy um, ag mag, which kind of covers mostly dairy cattle. It has a column like this as well, and it covers beef. This one covers beef and they're like the essential nutrients you would get from that. All right, and on the back side, it has its career corner section. So if you want to talk about different careers within beef cattle, the beef cattle industry, you can. And then at the bottom, this is great uh, section. It talks about how they are ruminants. And that means they have four parts of um, their stomachs. And so I, it also talks about how other animals are ruminants as well. Cattle is most popular. They're most well known. But then you also have sheep and you have goats. And then... You can find this on the Illinois Agriculture in the Classroom website, and you can just go to uh, 
I believe it's teacher resources now that I can think about it uh, and it's ag mags if you can't find that you could just type in Illinois agriculture in the classroom ag mags or you can just go down to the caption and I'll have this specific one um, linked there as a PDF and then I'll also have an area for the site to where you can see all the ag mags that are available and I want to highlight ag mags real quick you can have these as a physical copy and if you want to get them free you can get them directly from your agriculture in the classroom coordinator uh, if they don't if your county doesn't have a coordinator you can probably talk to your farm bureau and they'll get those for you and then um, if you just want to buy a whole bunch just for your classroom and not deal with the hassle, they are free, but you do have to pay for shipping. And if you don't want to do that, you can also find them online. And there's some ag mags that are like an online interactive one, and it will take you maybe to like different links, maybe watch some videos. And I know a uh, horse is one of those that I know just off the top of my head that's interactive and you can just go on your Chromebook or your tablets and you can have your students do that. All right, and then I also have this fancy little info card and it just shows the cuts of meat and it says, uh, do you know your cut of beef? And then you just go to say like, this is the rib and then you can go to like prime rib and then uh, back rib and then there's just a couple different ones. Now, there we go. Alright, and that's uh, provided by the Illinois Farm Bureau. On the back, it has facts, and we have a couple different of these beef fact cards. Uh, we have a couple of those in our inventory, in the sense. Uh, if you want some, just let us know. And then if uh, you want something, if you want the card on something else like poultry, you can uh, just ask us and we'll get you that as well. There's some for like poultry, there's some for lamb and dairy, and it's, the list goes on and on. But uh, this just talks about when selecting your beef choice. It just goes through like marbling and then uh, the color and then the uh, texture maybe, uh, how firm it is, and then marketing myths, and then there are some consumer choices. And I can bring that in for you as well. When I think about this, it may be flipped, so let's hope not. All right, so I also have this handy dandy, Illinois Agriculture in the Classroom, just kind of like a lesson book. And it's all about beef, of course. You can, uh, I'm trying to think, I found this on there's the site, uh, Illinois Agriculture in the Classroom.com. And um, you can also just look up the title and then look up Illinois Agriculture at the bottom. And uh, you could just put that all in your search bar and this should come up as a PDF. Um, and then it covers some beef trivia. Where's the beef? The hamburger paragraph. Let's make a meal deal. What is this cow? Beautiful bovine shapes, caring for cattle, why eat beef, and then it has the answers in the back, and then it covers the Illinois standards and framework. Each of these are lessons or just kind of like activities in general. Uh, so we'll use this as an example. So this is the hamburger paragraph, and then it gives you the background and um, an object objective of what the students are going to do and what they should accomplish. It gives you the directions on the side, the recipe, and then the potential topics on what you can cover. And then this is what you're given as kind of like a worksheet. So this up here is your intro. This is your topic sentence, supporting details on both of those, and then conclusion. And then on the other, other side, it goes on to the next lesson. And so this is let's make a meal deal. So kind of the same thing, you get your, uh, this has supplies on it, and then it has the objective, directions, and then it covers daily servings total, 
So this can kind of cover maybe like a health um, lesson if you want to tie that into or like nutrition like I mentioned earlier. And then it goes on to like here's breakfast, a list of items you can use or well, your students can use as choices, lunch, and then there's um, dinner and snacks and whatnot on the back. And it covers like how many calories and what the kind of weight or the amount that you would get. So this has like a cup of chocolate milk or two ounces of a grain, uh, a bagel. And then it tells you what the calories for that two ounces would be. <clears throat> and then there's just a couple more lesson plans in here. And we're gonna skip to that. So this is the answer sheet. Or at least one side of it. It may, be have, may have answers. All right, so this is the answer sheet for them. And then it covers on the back your activity that you did, the Illinois learning standards, and the Illinois assessment framework. And so this is that little packet that I talked about, all about beef. And so if you want to use, um, you can go either search that, just type it all up in your search bar. You can go to Illinois Agriculture in the Classroom, go through like teacher resources, and um, it should be something about uh, interest approach. That's where it should be. And then you can scroll down to beef and you should be able to find that. Or you can just look at the bottom of um, this video and it should be in the captions where I link everything. All right. Okay, and uh, so our next item that I'm going to talk about real quick is the Industry Connection Toolkit, The Science of Beef. And within it, it has right here just listed, each tool includes guiding question, a guiding question to provoke students' interest, investigation prompt for student-guided learning, key assessment for direct, ap direct application, research extension for a comprehensive learning experience, suggested resources to support knowledge acquisition, Care, career connections to reinforce future opportunities related to science. So I'll show you this first one just real quick. Over here in this column, it has the guided question, the investigation, the key assignment, and then the research extension. And then right here, it has the performance expectation. I can't talk now. Expectation, expectations, expectations. All right, let's move on. Support. <laughs> um, the core idea, of course, idea. Getting tongue tied. All right, and then on this side, it has the suggested resources, and it has listed like beef nutrition, as this is covering the. It's exploring the energy and nutrients. And then it has um, a lot of different links about the nutrition, and then there's some facts at the bottom. And then it also has one for life cycle. And then down here, there's career connections. It's like feed mill manager, ruminant uh, nutritionist, livestock vet, and food microbiologist. And this is kind of, it go covers a different, a few different topics for beef like the science of food safety, and it has all the same information, just applying it to that, uh, like career capacity, uh, grazing and ecosystem, heritable, heritable traits, reproductive technology, cattle evolution, domestication and behavioral management, and that is about it. So there you go. And um, I don't exactly, I'm not exactly sure where we got this one from, but I can try to find out and provide a copy. If you want a copy, I can also print this off. You can also try typing in this into your search bar 
and it should pull up. You can add um, the agriculture foundation as well. And then here's a few worksheets that we have. If you haven't yet, um, check out My American Farm. This is a website with different games and it covers different agriculture related topics. And it will include the um, subject area that it includes like health or English or mathematics. And then it's kind of pretty much just a game that the students can go through step by step and they'll learn about agriculture while applying those uh, subjects. I, my mind right now. But this is kind of something that is pulled from there. This is My American Farm. And it's, um, it covers the, like how many beef cattle can go into like each lot. Okay, so in this worksheet, it, like I mentioned, um, the different stages, like different groups as well, of cattle operation and where those, how many acres of land do, uh, per head of cattle, if that makes sense. <laughs> and this is just kind of, this is a worksheet that you can use within your classroom, or you can have the students go on the website and practice this using the website itself. And then there's also plenty of charts out there that kind of explain different topics relating to beef, like this is a grain finished, and it also talks about nat naturally raised and certified organic. Here's one on protein benefits. And these are just pulled off the internet that you can use. You don't even have to pull them off. You could just show, uh, project them to your screen. Uh, this is a great one. It talks about the different products that are actually made from cattle. So right here we have um, hair, we have like brushes, insulators, plastic, plaster, and textiles. We have um, medicines, candy, chewing gum, candles, deodorant, shaving cream, a lot of hygienic products. Um, and then manure, of course. And then we have the plastics and instrument strings, adhesives, and uh, some pet food. And it has like a whole list, of course, but those are just a few. And with this being said, that's something you can do within your classroom. If you want to either borrow from maybe a coordinator uh, within your county or you can go and purchase some of these items yourself and have students choose set it in front of them and have to students choose which item they believe is made from beef cattle and you can just be like yes no yes no or you know all yeses if they all get them correct that's great and um, then towards the end you can just have you know a couple different items that are all made from beef cattle and you can ask them the same question then say well actually all of these items are made from beef cattle and they might, might be shocked you could just start with that right away to make it simpler but uh, that would be a great activity for students and then this image talks about the beef life cycle it talks about weaning, the cow-calf operation, and then um, it goes on down to like the livestock uh, auction market and then feed yards and covers different uh, places, even goes to the point where it's at a restaurant. And then we have a list here of the great beef resources right here. And it talks about um, 
beef. It's what's for dinner. That's one of the websites. And it covers um, just information on raising beef. And then there's the Ag Foundation that has lesson plans and handouts. And then it has um, Agriculture in the Classroom and a couple others as well. And that is almost it. I have a couple of these as well. Uh, we have these within our office. If this is something you're interested in, like I said, it has the vocab terms, has the different cuts of meat, and then at the top it talks about different uses of beef cattle, just like I mentioned. And then on the inside it talks about the breeds, um, United States beef production, history right here, the careers, and um, just the beef path is what that column is about. Oh. Right here we have beef cattle and fun facts, just like the hide of one cow can make 18 pairs of shoes. And then it goes on to diet and the 2011 top 10 destinations for U.S. beef. So this might be a little bit of an older handout, but it's still pretty useful. Not much, much will change. Um, and then I have the 2016 Illinois leading counties in number of beef cattle. This is kind of a poster and we have one on dairy as well. On this side, it says, do you know beef? Different breeds of cattle, as mentioned before. And we can open this up. Hopefully, yeah. It will fit. There we go. All right, and then it says everything but the moo uh, beef products, byproducts. And there's a little bit of history down in this corner as well. And nutrition. Actually, I want to cover what's at the bottom of this one real quick. So this is the different uh, nutrients that we get. Here's some ti the timeline and then um, vocabulary terms. So a lot that you could find within your ag mag. And like I showed you earlier, there was that little info card. This is just kind of like a bigger version of the info card. Alrighty, that is about it that I have for the handouts and lesson plans, but a couple different um, activities I'd like to highlight is the one about uh, having different byproducts for students to choose which is which, um, if it's made from beef cattle or not, or if they all are, you know, you can go through that and see how you like to do it. And then the second one that uh, if anyone's interested in, you can contact me or whoever your coordinator is, but it is called the rumination navigation. And you'll have a little bit of a uh, process to setting this up. You'd have to buy supplies or you'd have to get that from your coordinator. And it is a great activity to show students the different compartments within the ruminant uh, stomach and it shows the process of digesting. So it also talks about like the cud that they chew and it comes back up and it goes back down and it covers every step for the most part. And at the end you get the waste from the cattle. So it's a great fun uh, experiment that you can do with your students throughout all grades really. And uh, it's a great activity that you can include. And if that's something you're interested in, you can either look up rumination, navigation, agriculture in the classroom, and it will pop up and you see the lesson plans for that and it covers the objective as well. And there's a little bit of a worksheet at the end, but I believe it's just three questions. So it's not something overwhelming for your students and it should be easy for them to understand. And uh, I think I'm just gonna end it with that note. Uh, all those links 
will be below the video if I have access to them. I will try to get access to them. If you don't see a link for something, email me and we'll try to get something worked out. But uh, thanks everyone.